I spent a lot of time in the classroom. And I think as a classroom teacher is, you know, that relationship that you build with each and every student and watching them grow and to become, you know, a resilient learner. I think as a principal, it is the same thing. You you want to make sure that everyone has a, a great place to be every day, that we have a staff that's collaborative because I believe um, it's in that building a collective efficacy at the staff level um, is where we really get traction on student achievement. I see myself in the children that I serve. Um, I immigrated to the United States in my lifetime, and many of the children that I serve at Lincoln Elementary um, immigrated in their lifetimes, and their parents immigrated in their lifetimes. And in my life, I found that uh, my education became my passport to the world. I was able to explore um, parts of the world that I dreamt of as a young person through my education. And I hope to share that with the children and the families that I serve. I love numbers. I mean, ever since I was a kid, uh, you know, I'm a data guy. So that's one of my favorite things uh, about my job. And then, of course, is the people, right? And just seeing how uh, my staff grow. Uh, both, uh, you know, uh, 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 technically and, you know, in the career, uh, you know, it was very uh, rewarding. I have an awesome team because we work well feeding off each other to ensure that, you know, our schools look good and that the students feel good. We would like to make sure that um, the students have a clean space, I mean, which helps to promote their learning. People don't think about how that translates to, you know, kids being in a healthy environment. I grew up in a household where I have a brother who's autistic and he has special needs. And so becoming a teacher just seemed kind of like a special ed teacher seemed like really natural for me. The kids with special needs, it's that best practices in those kinds of settings are best practices for all kids. The strategies that we use to support kids that might otherwise be seen as like challenging or quirky or outside of the mainstream um, are actually you know, the supports that we use for them are actually things that are like the most robust for, for all kids. We get to be in a really fortunate position of supporting people to grow and develop as educators, but also as staff, because 3,000 of our employees are educators and we have 2,000 others who also are passionate about serving students and families. So I've been able to really see a lot of sides of what makes up Oakland Unified, and it's a pretty beautiful place. What I enjoy the most about being at Oakland High School is the uh, the people. It is the students, it is the staff, the commitment to learning, the commitment to the relationships to each other, the commitment of upholding each other to um, be fair, to be honest, and to be just better people. The school and this community has grown me as a leader, um, and that I've learned through the process of being in community. I've learned to become the leader that I am. And my hope is that in my leadership that I am always like prioritizing the development uh, of those around me as well. You know, our collaboration and our work together is building our collective strength, which is what I feel like the school community has done for me as it's built my strength as a leader.